doesn't make sense now. Hi guys, my name is Sincerely Osa. Welcome back to my channel. It's been such a long time. Yeah, kind of randomly took another YouTube break without meaning to. So I'm just checking because like, got a new camera, new lighting. If you want to know all the information or want to see what camera I've got and want to get it for your self, then I've got all the links below. But um, yeah, I'm just, just the lighting is just... Um, but yeah, so I've got new hair, as you can see, it's a uh, purple to pink ombre, which is what I asked for, and it is a frontal. Now, I don't even know where to begin, because this was such a long story, but I'm going to kind, of, kind of keep it brief for you guys. So, um, I got some hair that was ombre, ha ombre hair from a company and I also got the frontal from a company but the the frontal was not on brave so I um, my salon that I've been going to for years to get, get my hair relaxed and treated is called beauty creation so um, I spoke to anti rose and anti rose was like yeah bring them in um, we thought oh yeah because it's on brave it's gonna bleach and take to the dye fine but uh, no the hair fried and dyed literally so i won't be doing a review or even like talking about that hair at all but i will leave the frontal below because the frontal is what i'm wearing now and the frontal randomly dyed and bleached like a dream and um it's fantastic and it was really i, I plucked it myself if you want to see my tutorial on how to pluck pluck, uh, pluck pluck a lace front all that is below and um yeah it was really well when i say easy to pluck it did still take a few hours and i did still have to you know look at my hairline and see if it matched my hairline and blah blah but the frontal kind of had the grooves where the hair is so it had like where the forehead is and kind of thinned down to where your ears are so it was easier to kind of pluck around so um this is kind of how it came out and I'm really, really happy with it. Um, I'm gonna be showing you guys how Auntie Rose actually installed this onto my head if you guys wanna do your own frontal sewing yourself. Um, what other information have I left out? Oh, okay, so the hair that we ended up using instead is the long key um, ombre hair that I had in my, in, in a couple of videos past, but that dyed and bleached like a dream. It was fine, um, it's not shedding as, that much it's it's genuinely quite fun happy to work with it very pleasant um is there anything else i'm leaving out um yeah so this is the color um color is really difficult to obtain to um to maintain um i'm just gonna go for a few tips try to avoid heat um, get a leave-in conditioner that has UV protection because even sunlight can make your hair colour fade. Um, avoid too much heat. I don't know if I said that before. So let your hair air dry. Uh, try not to wash your hair too much. If you do wash your hair, um, what I try and do is use cold water because hot water also fades your hair. Um, get a shampoo and conditioner that is for colour treated hair. Um, but if you want a, another video on the colour, then I will just do that. But yeah, so this is the colour. Um, the salon achieved that, not me. I did not bleach this hair. The only thing I did was pluck the frontal. Anti Rose and Beauty Creations did everything else. They did an amazing job. Another thing that they do is they actually do eyelash, individual eyelashes. I don't know if you can see, I've got individual eyelashes. Um, yeah, I'm really liking them. I hope you guys like them too. If you want to get individual eyelashes, then um, definitely go there. And uh, yeah, so without further ado, I'll show you what the front looks like. Um, it's not perfect, but I think I did a decent job considering this is my second lace frontal that I've worked on. Um, All she talking so about yeah, is come and see me. Come and see me for what you don't ever come to yeah. me. You don't ever come to me. Okay guys, so here is Auntie Rose at the Beauty Creations Salon starting the 
braiding pattern for the lace front or sewing so uh, she actually gave me a walkthrough of everything she did so what she's actually doing now is just sewing the sorry braiding the front I'd say about two to three inches of my hair and she actually just stops there she doesn't cornrow all the way to the back and she told me the reason that she does this is so that the braids will lie flat so if you do want to copy this braiding pattern just follow how far she goes she only goes about two or three inches um, towards my head in terms of the braids and then she stops the cornrow there and then afterwards you'll see how she joins it up into a cornrow all the way to the back all she talking about is come and see me for once come and see me for once you don't ever come to me you don't ever come to me all she talking about is come and see me for once come and see me for once you don't ever come to me you don't ever come to me She talking about is come and see me for once. Come and see me for once. You don't ever come to me. You don't ever come to me. I swear these days all you say is come and see me for once. Come and see me for once. You don't ever come to me. You don't ever come to me. All she talking about is come and see me for once. Now, if you're wondering about the way she braids, she does braid quite differently. She almost braids kind of underneath, um, but her braids honestly were very, very sturdy. They were very, um, they weren't too tight, but they were tight enough that I was confident that the lace frontal would lie flat and um, it wouldn't come loose or anything like that. So, yeah, she braids differently, but it still works. Don't ever come to me Why you gotta start, girl? Why you gotta start? I know we make time for the things that we want I know you got another man so as you can see now, she's starting to join the front braid to the braids that she's doing that go all the way to the back of my head. So as you can see, she's just forming a normal cornrow and then she's braiding it as well with the last cornrow that she did so that um, it's all joined together. You could be prepared, maybe take a couple sick days and I miss pace. I don't even know what things are looking like inside of your place So how it's decorated This thing is getting one-sided, I can't even lie to you um, I just also want to add that Auntie Rose oh, Auntie Rose um, Also did a kind of anchor braid or cornrow at the very base of my neck so the um the back of my head she did a single cornrow and that is just because it gives you less breakage i well i'm sure i'm not alone but a lot of um africans tend to get a lot of breakage at the back of their head um and i tend to get this a lot so doing that helps to limit the breakage um, so as you can see, she's just joining the cornrow from the left into, uh, and she's joining that into the cornrow that she's currently doing at that point in time, as you can see right there. Now the corn, um, corner. Now the front toe has been cut, so um, she's just trying to see where she's going to put it onto my head. Um, most frontals are too large for people's heads. I mean, mine, my head's pretty small anyway, so um, she had to cut both sides of the frontals, and now she's just sewing it down into the last frontal on the left side and the last frontal on the right side, and then she also sews it into each braid at the front of my head so each corner at the front of my head um, but she tends to sew a little further back so as you can see she sews about an inch into the braid so not straight at the front so on on this ear that she's doing which is on my right ear she's doing it right at the front of the braid but the next braid she goes a little further back but you'll be able to see a bit better than I'm explaining it
Coming through the voicemails that you let me telling me where I went wrong. And I'll admit I'm sorry when I feel I'm really sorry. Things change, people change, feelings change too. Never thought the circumstances would have changed you. Now she's sewing on the wefts onto my head. I think this is about the second pack of hair that she's sewing. Um, she's double wefting it as well. Um, at least I think she is. Well, I think she double wefted one packet and now she's, yeah, no, okay, yes, I can see. Um, she's double wefting this pack as well. Um, and she's doing her normal sewing pattern that you can see here. Sorry if her back blocks you some bits. It's quite hard to get the camera to see everything that she's doing. All she talking about is come and see me for once. Come and see me for once. You don't ever come to me. You don't ever come. As you can see, she did cut the weft just because um, we had a lot of struggle dyeing and bleaching the bundles, as I said at the beginning of the video. So she wanted the bundles that took the dye strongest to be at the front of my hair um, because there was just so many different tones in the hair. But um, so she had to cut the weft and put the bundle that bleached and dyed the best at the front of my hair. So that's what she's doing now. Um, but in terms of the shedding, the shedding is mostly because the hair has been processed a lot and um, the hair isn't the best, best quality. Um, but so far it's it's been fine, as I said at the beginning of the video. And um, yeah, the hair's looking incredibly bad at this point, but you'll see in a minute how she styles it and straightens it. And um, yeah, it all work, works out. I hear you talking about we a lot, oh you speak French now. Giving me the sign, so I gotta take it in now. Yeah. I hit you up like, do you wanna hang right now? On the east side, and you know I'm with the gang right now. You say, do I own a watch? Do I know what time it is right now? I know it's at the 2 a.m. and no, it's asking a lot of you. All she talking about is come and see me for once. Come and see me for once. You don't ever come to me. You don't ever come to me. All she talking about is come and see me for once. Come and see me for once. Her, that's me on Snapchat. Me. Follow me on Snapchat if you want. <laughs> uh, now she's uh, doing a wrap set, which I've never had before, um, but it really helped to kind of get the frontal to sit um on one parting and um yeah you'll see how she does the wrap set and then she straightens it afterwards come and see me for once don't ever come to me don't ever come to me i've been up for two whole days thinking what i did to keep you going Coming through the voicemails that you let me telling me where I went wrong. And I'll admit I'm sorry when I feel I'm truly sorry. Things change, people change, feelings change too. Never thought the circumstances would have changed you. You said you never traded no. And I so that is the hair done and dusted. Um, yeah, no, it was looking so, so fabulous. It still is, but the way she, like, I can't even straighten it as straight as she did it. Like, she was amazing. Um, but yeah, all the details to Beauty Creations will be in the description box if you want to check out um, their Instagram. And if you want to book an appointment, I will leave all of their details for you. And um, yes, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please make sure you subscribe. And if you have any questions, below about the colour or uh, the upkeep or styling a front or or any questions to do with the hair in general please leave them below and yes I will see you again see you again see you again soon bye all she talking about is come and see me for once come and see me for once don't ever come to me